good morning it's Tiffany back again with another creative flow if it's your first time tuning in to the channel about the creative flow well what it is is a flowish journal this one here that I'm choosing these small little bits out of and this was sent to me from Erin over at happily we go please make sure you go check out her channel so what the creative flow is we have to choose up to three pieces that we will incorporate into a project um, twice a month. And so this is number two for March. So I'm grabbing all the little bits and what? All of those are very neutral colors. Holy moly. So this was the inspiration. If you're not um, a, following me on Instagram, I'm running a challenge called hashtag use it up, fill it up challenge. And the premise of this is that you take all of those little bits and pieces, you set a timer and you get going and actually make a page and try to fill up a journal that you have um, with all of those papers that you're just been hoarding all this time. So if you're not familiar with it and you do have Instagram, make sure you go over and check it out. We have tons of people participating and it's a great way to use up all of those papers that you have in your craft room. So getting right to it, I picked out a few of the pages and this one is, um, I believe this is probably tea dyed or coffee dyed paper that Erin sent me. And then this tends to be what I think is like um, tissue paper maybe. I hope you grab your coffee this morning because that's what I'm drinking. And um, I love using the little sewing pattern. So that was uh, a fun addition that was in my creative flow for this week as well. And I know that y'all are super surprised that this is not going to be colorful. But I did a creative, I um, mean, excuse me, not a creative flow, but a use it up, fill it up page that I was showing you earlier. And I really just enjoyed um, the neutral palette. So I think I'm going to be working on creating a, um, entire journal out of neutrals and what this is is in my thrift store I found this um, yearbook that um, I think is 1972 and as I was flipping through I saw this girl and she has the coolest funkiest glasses on and so I know y'all should know that I'm a total freak about cool glasses I have like I have a lot of glasses <laughs> and so uh, people joke and say Tiffany you wear a new pair of glasses all the time every day and um, I, I don't really but I do have four or five um, pair of glasses that I wear and when I saw her I was just like ah I gotta put her in my journal so that's where that little girl come from and I typically don't use um, vintage photos um, but I do have some I found that um, 1972 um, uh, yearbook for like a quarter or a dollar or something at the thrift store and so I wanted to use right the premise of the challenge is use the things that you have so I wanted to challenge myself to use um, a neutral color palette and also use some of the photos that I have so here I'm going to take um, the Lyra or Lyra watercolor um, graphite pencil and I'm just going to pull that up with some of the other um, tea paper that or tea dyed coffee paper that I have um, so I could use that some other way and then I'm going in with my palette knife with gesso and of course it wouldn't be me if it wasn't messy and had scribbles and I'm liking that the water I mean the graphite just kind of gave it a grungier look which is my jam and now I'm just taking some old handwritten uh, I think this was a whole writ home excuse me this was a handwritten recipe um, page that I bought off of a lot on eBay I think out of a junk drawer thing and then I like cutting a circle and um, out of that paper that goes with the same kind of tone and then using that um, for the page 
So that's what I did. And just lining it up. I think it kind of brings your eye to that girl. Um, my funky glasses girl. And just using any adhesive. I prefer the Uhu glue stick. And uh, making some scribbles around there. And then I had that fabric tag thing that um, Aaron had sent me. And so I wanted to be able to use that because... Because if you do know um, a little about me, then you know that I do love the textures and stuff with um, with the um, fabric. And so I'm going in here and just doing a little mark making with some graphite um, stick that I had laying on. And then I'm going to go in with new pastel. And I'm just, new pastels are pretty cool. Um, I learned about them from a Wendy Bright Bill class. And um, I really enjoyed, they add just a hint of a color. And of course, my favorite thing in the world is masking tape. So I'm going in and masking tape some things down. I grabbed that and cut out some words and I ran over to the sewing machine. I didn't really run. I just walked over there and I'm going to glue that down with gel matte medium. So guys, this is way out of my comfort zone. I hope today's flow pushes you to try something new and don't forget to go check out Happily We Go, um, Erin DaCosta over there um, on her YouTube channel and check out what she created with the items that I sent her. And hey, stop right now and make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave me a comment and a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your support and don't forget, go check out Instagram.